Yep, here we are back. Got all the protective bottom coat off this. A very big task indeed. Started sanding, but it went down and just picked up some home strip. Instead of using the chemical stuff that burns your skin, I used this called home strip. You can strip your furniture or your boat and doesn't burn or anything. But it has something to do with the pH level, so still wash your hands and whatever else it gets on. As you can see, the boat's in pretty good condition. Chestnut Canoe Company. Outboard runabout made by the Canoe Company. Several of the Canoe Companies were doing that, making mahogany boats. Now I just got to get the shellac or polyurethane. I believe somebody put polyurethane on this because there's several coats of, uh, of the bottom coat on here, on the boat there. The, uh, the factory coat was the hardest. The home strip still worked on it, but you had to scrape it off with a putty knife. It softened it up pretty well. Took three of these containers, and I've used the other stuff, so it'd probably take about the same amount, but this here is no burning, which I really like. Didn't have to wear gloves or anything. Do it in shorts. Well, that's it for now. We'll update you again later. As I say, anybody wants to buy this, hurry up. Because I'll build it to suit. There's all kinds of different finishes you can put on here. More than likely, I'm just going to put white marine polyurethane on the bottom here where the other was there before and then we're going to put a, a marine shellac on the outside and on the inside I hear that keeps the value up if you use the shellac so, and supposedly the shellac goes into the wood and makes it strong Ready? See you again later.